evening. Welcome to the Sunderland Board of Selectmen meeting. Today is Monday, May 7th. I can't believe we're in May already. 2018. And um, typically this meeting we don't usually have a lot on our plate because uh, we've just come off of the excitement of a town meeting and everything. So usually the first thing we do is uh, we reshuffle the board so that we keep, keep everything fresh each year. So that's our first item is to reorganize. So do we have any... Nominations, uh, for, nominations chair. for chair. Yeah, you could actually hand the meeting over to her. Oh, she's, there you she's go. The, the despotic <laughs> leader for about another 35 I know. seconds. seconds. <laughs> well, hold on. Is the gavel put away? <laughs> I forgot it. <laughs> uh, uh, <coughs> All right. Nominations for chair? Uh, nominate Tom for chair. Oh, second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That's her saying. Oh, sorry. All those in favor? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Aye. Aye. Nominations for um, vice chair. I'll nominate Dave Pierce for vice chair. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I'll nominate Scott for clerk. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. <clears throat> I defer to Dave to run the rest of today's meeting. Because he put a lot of effort into this agenda. <laughs> I know, you know, hours and hours. <laughs> it's a long one. <coughs> uh, <coughs> so we have, we have an item appointment at 6.30. That's just our... That's us. Oh, yeah, That's us, yeah. And then, okay, so the next item is to approve our minutes from Monday, April 30th. And they are a voluminous set of minutes. Oh, it's a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, there is. Motion. I'll second the motion, accept the minutes. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Um, and we'll say we have a whole section for our discussion of the... Uh, town meeting and the election coming up but we have do we have any other like regular updates at all Tom? um i i would just like to uh <clears throat> I, I just like to um express my gratitude to the people that we have serving on our committees i went i had uh, i was fortunate enough to go to a conservation commission meeting the other night mm -hmm. And I don't know how we have the good fortune to have the people that we do on on the conservation. A, it's a very it's a very um, it's a very rules specific position uh, or committee to serve on. Um, and we have five members of the conservation commission that, in in my opinion, are outstanding. Um, I guess I've always known it, but sometimes it's, it's great to be reminded of that. And I use the Conservation Commission as an example tonight. Um, but I would, I, I've also in the, as you, when you're selectman, you have the very good fortune of being able to go, to, needing to go to school committee meetings and uh, planning board meetings and zoning board meetings. And zoning board just speaks. I mean, just look at some of the 40B projects that the zoning board has handled over the last 10 years. We're, I just want to say, you know, um, we don't, and we don't say it enough that we are extremely lucky in our town to have um, residents that put out time and their effort to make our community a better place. And I really believe <coughs> it's through that, it's through their, through their work, their hard work. Um, and their dedication that we have a community that we that we have and that we're all, that that we all should be very proud of. So, again, I would just like to thank them, and I, and, and that includes the the, the assessors and the um, fire fire department, which are basically all volunteers. Um, these the men and women just of the town that step up every single day to do a great job. I just I just want to thank them because then the, the um, going to that conservation commission meeting the other night just re, you know reinforced how how uh, 
how special our town is and so lucky to have these people that donate their time and efforts and their, and their professional expertise. Yeah. I would agree with that. I, I spent a number of years on the Conservation Commission beforehand. I remember slogging through with, I think you were there too, when we were going through drainage ditches and, and everything. Yeah, and, and when you really look at the percentage of work that's done by the volunteers in the running of the town, it's, it's, it's very big. Yeah, I would agree with that. <coughs> <coughs> Updates. So. Uh, actually, um, there's a document downstairs for the board to sign allowing the Army Corps of Engineers to traipse around 120 North Main. And it has to do with the fact that it's coming out of the Conservation Commission meeting that we were at Thursday. It's one of the uh, decision points about the delineations of the wetlands, the wetlands. Yep. and uh, that's a document we would need to get to the folks from RDI so if we could make a move and make a motion to sign that letter calling out the town as being the owner of the property of 120 North Main and secondly allowing the Army Corps of Engineers access to that space so they can get in and participate in their determination as well second all those in favor aye, aye. aye. yeah that's an important step in the process right. if I could also Mr. Chair um, Mr. Vice Chair, the um, Tom's point about <laughs> the well, I get it right. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> I get it right. How much yeah. do you think I'm talking to him now? No, no, <laughs> that's all right. I get it. Um, <laughs> it if um, I could echo the point about the uh, professionalism that comes through so many of our volunteers on our boards and committees, uh, it goes without saying the hours that are uh, tied up in meetings. That is one mm. measure. The second measure is the professional horsepower that's brought to those boards and committees. And that's a really, really big deal where Sunderland has great fortune for the, I guess I'd call it bench strength. Yep. And you go right down the boards and committees and there are a lot of really talented people who donate a lot of time. Yeah, that's, that's an excellent point. I had something to add to that, and I can't remember what it was now. So I'm just gonna <laughs> leave it at that. But <clears throat> um, <coughs> and normally we defer to our town administrator, but right. she is off on vacation tonight. So no updates. No, no updates. updates. There you go. No <laughs> updates. Um, and now, and now our our last topic for tonight is our town meeting and town election discussion. And I. I just like to kick it off with no matter how you voted, thank you for showing up and voting because that is really important. I, and I, I'm curious to know, I didn't get a look. I'd like to see, do we know the percentage of our eligible voters that turned out? I don't this know one that compared, number. I'd be curious to see how that, you I know, hopefully know. we can keep getting that up and up each time. Yeah, we weren't able to get that information yeah. in today. That that would be kind of neat to see, though. Sure. But I, I'm... I'm very thankful for folks uh, for showing up and voting just in general because I know, I know especially this time of year things start to quiet off and stuff like that. And, sure, I'll ask And it's Wendy. a little tough, but um, it, just like to thank everybody for that. And then um, kind of like, like I know you've men mentioned numerous times, Scott, before about, you know, thanking them for the way they voted in this case and, you know, giving us that opportunity because um, I, I know personally, I think that we're, probably gonna keep on the path that we're going but being mindful, I guess I would word it as mindful and frugal. And I use the word frugal very specifically, meaning uh, as opposed to like oftentimes people will equate that with being cheap and it is not by any means, it means no waste, don't waste things. And I think that's that's generally the approach we've tried to take to this. And I think, I think uh, we need to keep on moving that way, but, but that's, that's all I'll add to that right now. If I could, if I could yeah. uh, piggyback on, on that element <clears throat> with respect to the, the town meeting, I appreciate the lively discussion on issues that were important to people. That town meeting when you're face to face, hearing, interacting, that's a particularly special kind of democracy. It is. Yep. With respect to the town election discussion, um, you know, we have been at the town ballot 
handful of times since I've been here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to take the opportunity to uh, ensure that just because there was an operational budget override of two and a half percent to the tune of two hundred thousand dollars, that the stewardship of the trust the town gives us to be smart about that money mm -hmm. is not lost. No, nope, not at all. And if anything, it's even more in some ways. Right. <clears throat> um, for, first, uh, the, the town meeting, I thought, was an interesting town meeting. Mm -hmm. um, it just goes to show that what we talk about sometimes about articles that may be yeah. beat to the <laughs> most no discussion humans. typically are voted real quick and the things that we think are no brainers are voted that, that are voted after Much an extension of extensive amount of discussion. So uh, town town meeting it's always a different different animal. I, I would I would say that we had hundred and twenty six people showed up for town meeting. Um, and I thought we had a good discussion, mm -hmm. uh, and I, I, I thought it was a, it was a, it was a good town meeting. In the fact that I think everybody had something to add to the discussion was allowed an opportunity to do. Um, we still have problems. Believe, but when when you look at the people at the head table, um, please understand. Sometimes we may we may look dumbfounded on a question, but it's just because we can't yeah, hear. Can't hear it. Yeah, the, um, the, the I I can't tell you I, I you know I I hear voices um, when people are talking, but a lot of time a lot of time it's it's I we can't we can't hear it. It's very difficult. So we're going to redouble our efforts and and and. Yeah, I guess you know there's problems that people in the back of the room can't hear as well. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to redouble our efforts. We're going to talk to Chris Collins from FCAT and see see what they can. But <clears throat> please understand, sometimes it's not if you see us talking to one another up when a, when somebody's speaking, it's not out of disrespect. It's trying to understand what, what the questions are <laughs> because we yeah. we many times we can't we we need help with what what was what was being said. Um, con concerning the, uh, um, I, I, and I, I would like to add that uh, the board um, sincerely wishes uh, Bob Doobie a, um, a happy retirement, although he's been retired for a long time, but from the moderator's he's job, job yeah. he's served, served in that position a long time. And he's he's moderated many um, many town meetings, some plain, some more boisterous than others. Mm -hmm. But uh, I we, for a guy to put that amount of for anyone to put that time of service is, is remarkable, in my opinion. As far as the uh, the the vote, um, I had heard a couple um, concerns that the uh, question concerning the. Uh, um, Fire truck, they no one, they, they there was a concern because it wasn't written in the um, article that was on that they voted for. Correct. In the ballot question. In the ballot question, mm -hmm. um, and the only thing I can say to that is that um, that was that the ballot questions on a borrowing have to be written by bond council. So bond council writes those very specifically and they're awarded a, a whatever mass general law is appropriate so we don't write those articles those, those that article on 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 in that respect are, are written by bond council um, so I would I would tell you that we we did share that information at our at our meetings and and, and at the town meeting as, as well um, so I, I don't I, I guess um, I don't know how to get that information out there, but typically it's not written um, as a it's ballot a question. You don't you don't include that. Um, <clears throat> and again, that's not our decision. That's a decision at bond bond council. Uh, along that, if I could, Tom, along that line, the 
authorization to move forward is what the ballot question um, essentially enabled the board to do. <coughs> There's still a process that's going to unfold here and at other meetings in this room and meetings downstairs with the financial team. So people who are interested in that, how much is a borrowing authorization? How yeah, much? What style that. is it? How, when, when does it start? What the durations? That The only thing that the ballot question allowed was us a path forward. We have to simply fill the steps in that path in now. And as you pointed out, rightfully so, at town meeting, that debt schedule may not begin for up to two years. Two years, right? Or long. It, de it depends on when the truck yeah. depends on when yeah. the truck is finished and when our first payments are due. Right. So, yeah. it, it it could be out there a while. Yeah. Right. You're Thank right, you. Scott. Um, the the next the next thing is is that um, uh, un unfortunately with elections there's 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 a sides that quote unquote win and there's sides that quote unquote lose. Um, Believe it or not, the Board of Selectmen has been on the losing side on some of the votes in the recent past. Um, and the only, the only thing I can say is that um, if, if, if you voted different than the way the, the outcome turned out this time, I, I, would, I would ask you once again, and we have said this before, um, please become involved. Please, you know, we have... We have membership of the finance committees. Um, we have memberships of other committees that, that deal with the financial aspect. Um, I, I would ask you um, to take it, take an active interest and, and serve on the committees and so that your voice can be heard uh, in other ways than just the ballot box. Not the, and, and I think that's, it's important. So if, if, if you have um, a hankling to, to get involved, Please speak to our new moderator and get appointed to the finance committee, and and help us move forward. But we take the responsibility we take the responsibility of the budget very very seriously, um, and we try try to do what's best for all the all the all the residents of our town, not not certain segments. So I, I would ask that you do become involved, um, and 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 maybe to bring what your concerns forward to us, so it's a better understanding of what your concerns are. Um, and also, you can listen to what the other other people's concerns are, also, so maybe you have a better understanding why an override um, was on the ballot. But besides that, uh, I, I'd also like to thank everybody that worked uh, hard um, bringing up to the ballot the finance committee, Sherry, Cindy, um, Susan, volunteers. Um, Brian. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of there was a lot of effort that brought brought that um, budget forward and there was a, hard, a lot of hard discussions and, and uh, decisions that had to be made so mm -hmm. I was proud of the final I was proud of the final budget um, so I I, I, I just want to thank all those people that were involved thank you months in the making takes a lot and, and hopefully um, hopefully the pre-information session helped out a little bit too uh, you know and, and hopefully you know Give us some feedback on how you thought it went and what we can do to improve it next year. Right. So that'll be, um, uh, you know, hopefully that's a nice venue to get out factual information. I think. So. I kind of agree. That was, as I said before, uh, uh, Mr. David, that it was like walking into a trade show. Yeah. Placards are all up, signs are all up, information's available, people are willing to talk to you. It's like no better way. Right. Non threatening environment. Exactly. You can just <laughs> go like, up and ask some it, questions, get like, some info. <coughs> so hopefully we can. Keep that and, and run with it. Make it better. Exactly That'd right. Be good. Do we have? Uh, we have a. Well, we do have a public comment. Any public comments at all tonight? Or I guess I just like to echo what was said by your board about <coughs> my feeling as far as the override is that that allows you, in my view, it allows stability for the town's finances. It's not a sign to go out and spend more money. By no means. And it's a sign to continue. It basically means you've got to work even harder right. to be smart, you know, find better ways of doing things, okay, which is what we ought to be doing. But it just, and in this town does that real well, but that task never stops. Right. Okay, and um, it's only by continuing to do that that you can make stability last a while okay and it's not gonna be even that's not gonna be easy 
okay? And so I, you know, because, you know, I think actually you ended up putting a relatively modest number on there, and so it gives you a, you know, it gives you, like I say, I hope some stability without, like, you know, the last thing in my mind is, great, we want to spend some more money. No, it's like, you know, how long can we manage now to get through budgets, you know, in, you know, where you're running the town you want to wait, the way you want to run the town, but to do that, you're just going to have to continue coming up with new ways, you know, to do a lot of things. And but that's what we ought to be doing. So I think that's, and I, and I, you know, I ran into Dave at the supermarket and had, you know, basically a yeah. very short little chat, but it was just to that point, and he said a couple of things along the same, I'm like, same, along exactly the same line, I'm thinking, well, this is nice, because he's thinking exactly the same thing I am, that, you know, you, this doesn't mean you go out and spend more money. It just means, you know, you're not in the situation to dig in a deeper hole. And so I, I think that that, you know, maybe needs to be said a few times for people who might think otherwise, because, you know, we're still stewards of town money. That's right. And, and we have to consider that this is, you know, we're expected to be good stewards. That's right. And I think the board, the board is, everything I've seen and everything I've heard has been that that's the way you do business, and I think that's terrific. So, nice. Um, I don't think we have anything else on our agenda tonight. Motion. Uh, second for discussion. Shoot. Marcus Aurelius. <laughs> Uh, one, 120, 120, <laughs> 121 to 180 A.D. Uh, Quote, know that pessimism can easily overtake you. Unquote. That's Motion. a good quote. Second. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. On those wise words from Marcus Aurelius. <laughs>